Welcome back to another Twinkle Tips Friday video, guys. This is Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us. We hope you had a wonderful Halloween and that we're rolling on down the track. We're about three or four weeks away from everybody turning on their lights and going crazy for Christmas. That was a great song, too, wasn't it? Um, but we're, we're, we're on the road. We're on the road to get things rolling for the 2023 holiday season. And we don't want you to get stressed out whenever it comes to your sequence mapping. Stay tuned. We're going to get right to that next. So today what I want to do is I want to share with you the fastest, easiest way to import sequences into your layout. I'm going to throw this up in front of you and I'm going to make me a little bit smaller over here. Okay, so if you are a PPD Sequence Club member, and this isn't advertising for the PPD Club, but uh, it's a shameless plug, I guess. Um, if you take the time the most important thing about sequence mapping is taking the time to set up your groups or understand where you're mapping from, the layout that your sequence is coming from when you're mapping in, and matching yours to be as close to or identical as possible. Even going so far as to have the exact name of the groups set up in your layout. Because if you take the time to set up your layout with the same group names as your donated sequence, then guess what? We can use the function called auto map, which speeds up your sequencing mapping. Like, I mean, it, it's a it's a click of a button. It automatically works. These are the exact steps. I'm gonna put them down here below, and I'll, I I don't know if I can do the chapters in here as we do the step or the process, but we'll, we'll, I'll try to I'll try to put that in as chapters down below. That should be fun. Now, let's go ahead and get started. The song that I'm going to use is the Encanto song, which you see over here. It is important for you to remember to download this the uh, MP3. Now, notice, notice here it says uh, audio can be purchased here. Look, there's no, uh, there's no link to the audio. What you have to do is you have to go up to your ad blocker here, and you need to uh, in, uh, disable it for this site. And there you go. See, so an ad blocker blocks this link from showing up. So if you have trouble finding the MP3 on our site or anybody else's site, there could be an ad blocker that is uh, on your browser that causing that. So with that being said, I've already downloaded the MP3. I've already purchased my sequence and I've already got it in my download folder from the website. It's in zip folder uh, format. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with sequencing now. So over here, we have our uh, download folder. If I double click on it, you see the Encanto sequence. We'll right click, we will copy this, and then I'm gonna close this, and we'll go to our Xlight show directory. Now inside the show directory, I said you need to create an import folder. That's right here. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste, and I'm putting my Encanto sequence into there. And now my and and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I've already downloaded the audio. Uh, I'm not going to go buy that again, but I have it here. I've already saved it in my here. This is my show folder. It's called Nutcracker, which is what it was before X Lights was called Nutcracker before it was called X Lights. Uh, so I put it in my audio folder and it's right there. So now that we have that out of the way, we'll go ahead and open our X Lights show folder. I'm in my layout here. I'm going to cr click Create New Sequence musical sequence and I'm going to go up to my uh, X lights directory here my audio folder and my mp3 and we'll go ahead and now click 20 frames per second and we'll click done so now we're to the sequence screen it takes a little while to for X lights to open it up and now we'll save there now we have the save button uh, I, as I said, I save it with the, the name of the uh, sequence uh, the, uh, or the name of the MP3. I always change the MP3 to say the name of the artist or the movie that it came from and the name of the song second. So it uh, looks like I already have one in there. I'll just go ahead and over, right over top of that one. Now I've got this sequence all set up and ready to go. I'm going to go to the import menu, import effects. The dialog pops up to go in to search for our import folder and our zip file right so 
we will hit uh, Encanto here, and it's going to extract the data or the information. And now this is as easy as it is to map your sequence. Like literally, this is as fast as it is. Hit the auto map button because I took the time to set up in my home layout everything from the X lights layout from the, uh, in our case, the PPD sequence. You can do this for every vendor that you have. Now, if you buy from multiple vendors, it's going to be a little bit challenging because they may change things from year to year. Uh, we, what we do at Pixel Pro Displays is we don't use our home layout. It's, it's, a, it's a layout that we created so that you guys all have a consistent layout. We never change the layout. The groups stay the same. Everything stays the same. In fact, the order that we sequence in stays the same. And it's so that you can click this auto map button and never, ever question, well, what am I missing? You're not missing anything because you took the time to set up. You had to set these up. And again, watch the video up up above. Uh, I'll even plug it here. Let me go uh, pull up that uh, that video. So right here is the video that you want to watch. If you want to make your mapping easier, this is the video you want to watch getting started with sequence mapping and X lights. This is absolutely super helpful. Now that you've clicked the auto map button, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click OK. And the dialog closes, and now we have everything pulled over for the sequence. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, there's one more step. If you're new to sequencing, let's say let's say you're new to importing sequences, and you want to uh, get your order of props, your your props need to go in a specific order. You need to pull that from the donated sequence. And let's go do that really quick. I'm going to go into my folder here real quick. And I'm going to go into my X lights, not cracker, where you at? Not cracker. And then we'll go into our um, imported folder. Now we've already done the import. Now you're going to see me do this real quick. You're going to extract the sequence, extract all, click extract. And now what, what we've done is we've extracted the sequence. Many people are used to doing this the old way. I, I'm. All I've done is I've just extracted the sequence. The next thing that you need to do is you need to set up your groups in the exact same order as the donated sequence. Now, if your groups are labeled just like mine are, they match the donated sequence, you can um, you can click on the display elements here and we can do the click import and we can click master view from sequence file. So from this screen here, we can go into our X lights directory, which is Nutcracker. We can come over here to the import folder. Once we're in the import folder, we'll go to Encanto, Pro Layout, and the sequence, this is the downloaded sequence. And what, what it's done is it's created this imported master. It's imported from this zip folder, from this file here, the sequence, the physical sequence. It imported from this sequence right here, the exact same layout. Now, the reason why it works is because we use the exact same names of the exact props that were used in the downloaded sequence. So once you do that, you click on this imported master. You could rename it. I renamed mine PPD master, by the way. Uh, if you have uh, sequences from, let's say, Showstopper, if you have sequences from Fairy Pixel Dust, Sequence Solution, that's Barry over there at Sequence Solution. The, if you've got sequences from other vendors, you can take the time to set up your groups identical to them and be able to import this. Now, whenever you uh, created that master, you can make it master. And what X Lights will do is it's pulling all the data over. Just go ahead and click OK whenever it says warning. Just click OK. Don't worry about that. And now what you see, it's it's taken and put everything here in the exact order up and down in in your layout exactly as this is. So you can see here, all display at the top, all house, all yard, all house decorations. It's really important that you do this step so that way whenever you hit the render button, which we'll do here, that everything turns out the exact way that it's supposed to be. Yeah, not bad, 25 seconds to, uh, to render the sequence. And we'll go ahead and save it again. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead and bring over the layout here and we'll hit the play button. 
and as you can see it looks like everything has has come over um it's a lot of fun to mess around with your with your layout and it's a lot of fun to map sequences whenever it's super easy and this is as super easy as we here can make it at pixel pro displays well guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that we kind of cut down on the frustration and stress of trying to map sequences take your time with mapping it it's it it, it is simple but it takes time to set up your layout. And I highly recommend watching this video right over here, getting started with sequence mapping and X-Lights. And then the other video, so this video here, before I do the other one, is this video is directed towards, I have a brand new layout, I don't know where to start, how do I set up my, my stuff? This is where you start. If you are already past that video, and, and I know the other video is about an hour long, this one's 30 minutes long, and this is, the, uh, the X-Lights map channel dialog box. This is that mapping dialog box that we were looking at earlier. Now, why is it important to pay attention to that map channel dialog box? Because there's a lot of options in there. We just clicked the auto map. That was the only thing we did in that screen. But this video walks you through all of the processes and, and availabilities that are in that dialog. So guys, thank you for joining us for this Twinkle Tips Friday video. We really hope that it kind of cut down on the stress and the frustration of mapping the sequences. I know that everybody's excited to get their show going, but if you neglect the one thing in your, in, in your show that really makes your show shine, that's your sequences. Your sequences, you can spend $10,000 on a show, and if you don't map your sequences in a manner that matches where it came from, your results are not going to be exactly what you think. And we want to alleviate that frustration that you'll have with spending all that time and money and not getting the results and the wow to your show that you deserve to have. So if you have any questions, guys, put them in chat down below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Share this video if you are seeing other people having trouble with their setups and their challenges, by all means, I'm sure this video can help a number of you in your processes and setup. And guys, if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. It is November, it's pick your own month, the only month out of the entire year that you get to pick any song in the store for your monthly membership uh, selection. This is the month that we do it. We only do it in November. It's our gift to you every single year. We do this in November. Other than that, we do one awesome sequence each and every month, brand new to the store. We've been doing two, and there's other exciting things that are coming along this year that we're really pushing hard to add in. Not only that, you get great prices on affiliate vendor savings, and you also get uh, great selections of different bumpers and jingles and jokes packs that you can add to your show to give it a really light touch to add more flavor and to kind of stand out and be a little bit different than what most other community members might do. So guys, th there you have it. We hope you enjoy the video. We will see you next time. Take care and bye for now. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay guys, welcome back. So today what I want to do is I want